I don't want to go with my hands. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. Hi, I'm Cody from Biodome. Here today to talk about a few methods of indoor farming. Indoor farming is the act of using traditionally artificial light and just water to deliver nutrients to plant, to plant systems. There are three main methods of indoor farming uh, called hydroponics, aeroponics, and aquaponics. These, these different methods can be confusing to the average person as they do sound very similar. But I'm here today to talk about the main differences between them. The first method of indoor growing is called hydroponics. Uh, we have a more advanced uh, video link in the description that describes uh, the different methods of hydroponics. In hydroponics, the plant roots are either submerged, dripped on, or the waters ran across them to help deliver an appropriate mixture of nutrients and allow for plant growth. The next method of indoor growing is called aeroponics. Aeroponics is incredibly similar to hydroponics, except the plant roots are usually suspended in the air and then sprayed with a high pressure uh, mist of nutrient filled water. Uh, the pressure is usually between 80 to 100 PSI and the specialized nozzles usually get the water down to droplet size to about 20 to 50 microns. Uh, and this allows for accelerated plant growth and a more efficient nutrient delivery system. Aeroponics was originally uh, invented by NASA to help grow plants in space as it tends to be more water efficient than hydroponics. The final method of uh, indoor farming is called aquaponics. Aquaponics uses similar methods as hydroponics, except you grow fish alongside the plants. The fish uh, waste provides nutrients to the hydroponic plants and the hydroponic plants provide a filtration system to the fish. You essentially create a, a mini ecosystem in order to grow both fish and plants. Usually it is a supplement to hydroponics. The fish chosen for aquaponics are traditionally fish that either produce a lot of meat that it wants to be eaten, like trout, or fish that you produce a useful byproduct, like sturgeon. These fish are also have in common as they can survive in an aquaponics environment very well. Comparing and contrasting the indoor farming methods, they all have three similar things in common. One, they all use a form of water delivery system for the nutrients. None of these usually use much of any soil. And if they do use soil, usually it's derived, deprived of nutrients so that the water delivers all of it. They all also typically use some sort of artificial light to mimic sunlight as they are indoors. And they all provide some form of base for the plants to sit on. Plants can't exist solely on water. They need some kind of structure to help hold the plants above the, the surface. And this is usually some kind of mesh substrate such as rock wool or some entirely plastic substrate just to hold them together. Aeroponics and hydroponics are incredibly similar. Aeroponics is traditionally seen as some kind of a, an addition or an add-on to hydroponics. Some people make the differentiating between low pressure and high pressure aeroponics. In my opinion, Low pressure aeroponics is just another form of hydroponics as it doesn't provide any of the benefits uh, seen in the different studies of the 80 to 100 PSI water. And aquaponics is really just an addition to the hydroponics. All aquaponics does is provide a different nutrient delivery system. Instead of using fertilizer that is made from different chemicals, they just use fish waste. The different indoor farming methods each have their own layer of complexity space and cost requirements. Everyone's situation and experience is very different. For at home uses, I highly suggest starting off with hydroponics as different methods can be very cheap, easy to learn and easy to set up. For more advanced and people with more uh, money to throw at it, aeroponics would be a very interesting solution. For anyone who fancies themselves a pet fish, they can also try out aquaponics, but this can be very challenging at home because you have to take care of both a plant and a fish and basically balance your own ecosystem in your own home. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on hydroponic and indoor growing methods. Uh, I'm Cody from Biodome and uh, yeah.